Hey guys, Simcoder here, and today we're going to be taking a look at how we can create a new uh, an username uh, and making sure that it is unique. It is the only user user that has that username. So let's get right into it. First of all, go into your uh, Firebase. Um, project in, in the Android Studio you, and you can download this project from my previous Firebase tutorial. I'll leave a link down in the description. So in order to achieve this we have to go through the database, our users database and check to see if there's no uh, username that's equal to the one that we are trying to create and we are going to achieve this by using um, a thing that uh, Firebase has that it's called query and this query <coughs> will take care of that uh, check process for us so we don't have to download the, the whole project uh, the whole table and check it manually and this query it's going to order by username and check if uh, something is equal to a certain name so let's do this and first of all we are going to get to to make to create uh, an edit text is going to be username and here we are going to say user name registration now go in here create another field for the registration which is username registration and let's edit down here registration okay let's add the username string and the username registration dot get text dot to string and now you're going to use that query in order to to check if the, the data snapshot it's empty or not so we are going to try to return every single child that has this username and if that um, that data snapshot returns with a size of zero then we know that this is the first time this username is trying to be put into the database if otherwise that data snapshot has a size bigger than zero uh, then we can't save that this user because that username already exists and the user must change the username into something different so we are going to say query username uh, query equals to uh, Let's check here the database name. We still didn't create it, so we can create it now. Um, Firebase database dot get instance. So the first child of the database dot get reference dot child users, which is a child where the user information is stored. Users dot order by child username which is the one that we want this is going to order it alphabetically and then it is going to check if it is equal to this username okay now username query dot add listener for single event value new value event listener uh, let's fix that where is the error uh, 
here it is an equal it is equal equal to okay make sure you correct that and now in here you're going to do an if data snapshot dot get children count it's bigger than zero then we are going to make a toast saying the telling the user to use a different username choose a different username different two f's and else if the username doesn't exist then we can go ahead and move this create user with email and password into this else and it's this way it will create it so let's make this final 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 and add username username that it is done okay uh, forgot this okay we must obviously set the value set these values to the database so grab the new posts and put current user database which is this set the value to new post okay now we can actually run it and see if no errors are detected so let's go Okay, so let's set a username of test, name doesn't matter, h1 doesn't matter, size as well. Then let's set the, the email test at test.com, password123456. Let's create it. Okay, now let's see if it uh, saved the information correctly. Here it is, test at test.com and again here it is because there wasn't uh, another username in the database it created it with no problems. Now let's check to see if our app can actually detect that the username already exists so we must uninstall to um, do the logout because we still haven't created the button, but we will in the next lesson. Run it again. And in here, we are going to try to add again test to see if the app detects it. So, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. And here we, are, we can't use test, so let's use test2. password is one two three four five six and we are expecting this toast the this toast to appear so let's go and here it is choose a different username because this um, table already has test in it we can't save test again so let's try with test two and it creates it. So that is all for today. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the in the, in the comment section. And like, leave a like, subscribe, and yeah, ciao.